Hello everyone, welcome back to tuning into today's second video. We're doing the XN European Outlook for today's second video. So as was on a Tuesday, we've got the uh, 30 day look ahead for the UK and for the rest of Europe too. And I should get something back for you in a moment, just to say back first. The video only says our 6 m UK weather forecast. There'll be a 10 to 14 day with all our breaker features coming up later on today as well. Please like, share and subscribe on all today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that. I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. Okay, let's start off then having a look at the uh, situation across Europe this week. So this is taking us from the 22nd, 29th of April, the last week of April 2024. And it was quite unsettled actually in many parts of Europe with a chop of below average heights or low pressure covering much of Europe. We have got corresponding ridge in the Atlantic going up towards Iceland and Greens as well. And certainly for the north and west, you think that's going to be a cool signal bringing the wind from the north or northeasterly direction this week. The 500 millibar height only shows this up very nicely. Above average heights again in the Atlantic and building up towards Greenland and Iceland with a trough of low across many parts of Europe once again. So, yes, we see cold and average temperature anomalies in many areas. We have got an exception, which is the far eastern side of the Europe. I'm doing the extreme east of Europe, really. So, talking about some of the Greek islands, uh, Turkey, the Black Sea, up in towards eastern parts of Ukraine, and um, towards the northwest of Russia. That's where we've got actually quite significantly above average temperature in some places up to 6 to 10 degrees above normal. That's an exception to the rule, though. <coughs> Excuse me, that's an exception to the rule, though. Most parts of Europe actually below average with the temperatures this week. And the core of that is uh, going to be from Poland, through Germany, to the low country, Belgium, Netherlands, and down to France. Also covering countries like Austria, Hungary, and into northern parts of Italy, and just into north of Spain as well and there we're like uh three to six degrees below average other areas quite wide including the uk island and many parts of scandinavia going to around one to three degrees below normal so uh really quite a, a cool or cold week to come in uh many areas we see through the mare but away from greece and turkey anyway most places are below average and even over the adriatic into the balkans it's slightly below average which is something you haven't seen for a very long time. Uh, precipitation is variable this week, so it does vary from area to area, depending where you are in uh, Europe. So we've got far north and northeast with above average uh, precipitation this week, that including Finland and down into the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia and uh, Lithuania. That extends down into Belarus and Ukraine, as well. Uh, so we've also got around Black Sea and, uh, you know, it's like Slovakia, Romania, looking uh, a little bit wetter than normal as well. It's not wet everywhere, though. We've got to Germany and into the low countries coming out rather drier than normal. We've got Spain and Portugal also rather drier than average. Um, Ireland and Western Scotland a little bit drier, while England and Wales comes out wetter. Oh, very variable in France, also about average, perhaps a little bit on wet and average side for you there. So, uh, a very variable scene in terms of precipitation. Down into the Med, as I say, we've got uh, Spain and Portugal drier than normal, but the central bowl of the Med, uh, or the um, western portion of the central bowl of the Med, I suppose, including the Balearic Islands of York and York Ibiza, are uh, wetter than average. But as we push over towards Italy, and uh, Corsica, Sardinia, they're maybe slightly on the drier side. So, uh, again, just trying to get there's a lot of variation going on across Europe precipitation wise this week, despite most places actually being under a trough of low pressure. Right, but anyway, week two will be the 29th of April to 6th of May. Signs of some quite significant changes here. We've got high pressure setting up over Scandinavia and also a ridge down towards Spain and Portugal. Um, not necessarily low pressure, but probably lower pressure still through the UK, Ireland, low countries, and Germany, maybe. And some low pressure towards the far east and southeastern side of Europe as well. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks a little bit more straightforward, actually, with most parts of Europe going into a ridge, an area of above average heights developing through much of Europe as we go into the first week of May. 
So big changes with the temperature anomaly. That's uh, lifting up a lot. Though Spain and Portugal of the far south of France are still coming out slightly uh, colder than average or cooler than average. But most other areas see the um, temperature, temperature anomaly shifting from below average to above average. So, for example, we've got the UK island uh, around 1 to 3 degrees above average. Germany and Poland, or at least east of Germany, into Poland, and again up towards the Baltic Sea states. There we like 3 to 6 degrees above normal. Also to the north of the Black Sea, to the southwest of Russia. Uh, again, um, we're around 3 to 6 degrees above average. And elsewhere, quite widely, we see the uh, temperature anomalies uh, between around uh, uh, 1 degree above average or 1 to 3 degrees above normal. So a much uh, milder week there as we go into the first week of May. As far as precipitation goes, though, we see wetter weather through western parts of Europe, including Ireland, parts of southwestern England, particularly through France and northern parts of Spain, actually around here. Uh, the rest of Spain, Portugal, about average, a little bit dry towards the south. Um, into the central bowl of the bed also looks quite wet. So again, from the Balearic Islands to Corsica and Sardinia, above average precipitation. A bit dry perhaps down towards the Greek islands, but going north up towards Turkey and Black Sea turns a little bit wet. So then of course we've got that Scandinavian high building, many north and northeastern parts of Europe are turning dry, but southern parts of Norway still a little bit on the wet side. But many areas actually shifted a little bit drier than average Baltic Sea states, for example, going a bit drier than normal into a second week. Week three will be the sixth to the thirteenth of May. Uh, high pressure on the move again, this time it's out in the Atlantic, but also still towards Scandinavia, some lower pressure down towards the south and the southwest of uh, Europe. 500 millibar height shows that the, uh, that the above average height is shifting its position to pull into the North Atlantic. So uh, actually hints that it might be starting to become a northern blocking feature again. Actually, probably starting to pull wind back in to the north and to the northeast. So that means the temperature anomaly is lowering, not getting colder than average at this point. They do in reality when we get closer to the time frame. But up to this point, it's just colder than average um, around the Baltic Sea, around Finland, northern parts of Sweden, etc. Uh, but most areas are going into the white shading uh, colours, which is uh, either average or no signal. So uh, I think there's probably cool now going on there as we go into the second week of May. Which is some of Europe looks relatively uh, mild or warm, though, right way from Spain, Portugal in the west to uh, Greece in the east. Rather above average there for uh, temperatures. And precipitation, well, the signal's weakening, as it always does. Further out we go, but generally looking a little bit drier, perhaps, for these northern and uh, western and northwestern parts of Europe. Possibly a bit wetter over on the eastern side of Europe. It is a very weak signal, though. Week 4 will be the 13th to the 20th of May. So uh, now we've got the high pressure in the Atlantic as a mid-Atlantic ridge. Probably just seeing a trend towards low pressure, actually, across uh, many parts of Europe there. 500 millibar heights look like that. Again, we've got uh, a ridge in the Atlantic. It's going up towards Greenland. A bit of a trough around uh, Spain and Portugal, maybe. Temperatures, uh, well, yes, they're looking up particularly in this eastern and southeastern area. Elsewhere, maybe a bit of a warm-up going on, but certainly nothing to get excited about. However, it's only really cold now to the extreme north of Europe, so average or slightly above through most areas. Um, Precipitation-wise, looking quite wet down towards Spain and Portugal, interestingly, for time of year. Dry of an average just to the west of the UK and Ireland, where we have that area of high pressure. Otherwise, there's not much of a signal. Right, well, that's your 30-day look ahead done, but let's go three weeks, five and six data before we go, because why not? So week five will be the 20th, 27th of May. Ah, uh, very weak signal. We've got some lower pressure towards the south and southeast of Europe. Otherwise, not much to be seen, really. And uh, not much to be seen from a 500 millibar high anomaly perspective either. Temperature anomalies is generally about average or a little bit above. And precipitation anomalies, not sure much of a signal, <laughs> really. I'm So that's very mysterious that week. And then week six will be the 27th of May to the 3rd of June. 
Um, uh, getting quite a weak signal, but some low pressure to the north of Scotland there, around ice between Scotland and Iceland. So that might be a sign of a change, something more Atlantic driven, perhaps for the far north and northwest of Europe. Not much of a signal from 500 millibar heights. Temperature lines remain around to ever so slightly above average, not a big deviation. And not much signal for precipitation, but quite interesting. We do see that it's wetter than average in the far southeast of Europe, around Greece, and also wetter than average in the far northwest of the north of uh, Scotland. Uh, and then in between, perhaps a bit drier down towards France, Spain, and Portugal. But again, very, very weak signals. Okay, that's your 30 day extended European outlook for uh, this week. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. And we'll do it all over again next week. Remember, any forecast on five, seven days, those big health warnings and large pinches of soul attacks. And that is always the caveat. So, just a snapshot. Could look completely different when we look at this model again for the UK and Ireland focus on Friday evening or indeed next Tuesday for the extended European outlook once more. We're going to be back very shortly with your 10 to 14 day, or later this afternoon anyway, uh, with your 10 to 14 day. So, come back for that later for the extended European outlook for this week. That's all for now, and thanks so much.